Hello, how is everyone doing today? Hope that you are well and that you had a good day. So do say hello if you're here. It'd be lovely to see if you're on live or if you're watching on replay. I'd love to say hi back. So please do say hi and also like this video. That'd be really, really helpful, really useful and help more people to see it. So welcome. My name is Gaina from Fitfish, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about tackling temptation. Do you struggle with temptation? Does it make you feel out of control, feel a little bit off course? Does it perhaps lead you to do other things and start a cycle of destructive behavior? Do you wish that you could look at a lint ball, a box of Pringles, the TV, your phone, and it not to tempt you and draw you in to do something that you perhaps don't really want to do. So whatever it be for you, whether it be certain drinks, certain foods, certain activities, hopefully I can give you some tips that will help you to tackle temptation. So I'm not saying that those things like Limp balls, Pringles, watching television, scrolling on your phone are unhealthy and unhelpful in themselves because, of course, they can form part of a healthy, balanced lifestyle. Of course they can. But the key is really whether they're unhealthy and unhelpful for you and if you would like to stop them. The official definition of temptation is to do or have something that you know you shouldn't do or have. I don't really like that word shouldn't. Says who? Says who that you shouldn't do it? I prefer to say to do something or have something that actually you don't really want to be doing or you don't really want to have. So that's the first key is working out whether you really want to be doing this thing that is tempting you or not. Because there'll be some seasons of your life where it's actually not a problem at all and it's part of healthy balance, but there'll be other seasons of your life where actually it's not helping and it's not helpful. So the first step is working out what you really, really want. At the moment, I've just given up an after lunch diet Coke habit. Now, for quite a long period of my life, that wasn't a problem, wasn't something that I, I felt was this kind of massive temptation that I wanted to get rid of. It was fine. But just recently, I've been aware that perhaps it isn't helping my teeth and it certainly isn't helping my bank balance. And so I decided I would rather save £12 a month. So that's a can of Diet Coke every day that I was having. I'd rather save that money, put it towards something else. And I'd also rather not get yellowy brown teeth quite as quickly as I might do otherwise. So I made a decision that it was something that I didn't really want anymore. So that's the first thing is work out what you want and what you don't want. If you don't want to be doing it, then that's a good place to start. So is there anything that you want to stop doing and stop giving into? Don't tackle everything at once. It's, it's probably best to just pick one thing that you feel that you're tempted by that you don't want to be doing anymore. The second step is to call it out. Call out what you're doing. Bring it to the surface because what's probably happened is that it's become quite a subconscious habit, something that you just do without much thinking it's become very automatic so by bringing it to the surface it makes it easier to deal with and more likely that we will deal with it so call out what's actually happening when's it happening why is it happening what's the different situations it's happening in what is it you're being tempted by what's the scenario how often does it happen bring it to the surface be realistic, be real, and just call it out and say, okay, every evening after I put the kids to bed, I pour myself a glass of wine. Or every evening when I know I should be going up to bed, I watch another program or I spend half an hour scrolling on my phone. So what is it? Call it out, bring it to the surface, this thing that you want to change. And what are the triggers? Why is it happening? So can you see what's happening and why it's happening? 
And the third thing is to dilute the scenario, because in all likelihood, it's possibly not the action or the item that is the problem as such and the temptation. It's probably more the scenario, like when you sit on the sofa with your phone or when you see a packet of lint balls on the table or when there's a half empty box of Pringles in the cupboard and you're bored. So what is the actual scenario? And can you dilute that in any way? Can you minimize the risks? Can you reduce the temptation? Can you flee from the temptation? Can you get the temptation out of the house? Can you change the order in which you do things? Can you find an alternative? If it's become an automated response, as habits are, then if you can increase the barriers and increase the resistance to it, being automated, then that will really help you. So there's three things there that are key to tackling temptations. The first one is to work out what you really want, not what someone else is telling you, what you should and shouldn't do, but actually what do you really want to do? What don't you really want to do? And then calling it out, so bringing to the surface, so actually every day after dinner, I have a chocolate bar or every evening I have a glass of wine when I sit on the sofa, what is it? Call it out, bring it to the surface. Are there any particular triggers? What's the scenario? What's the scenario that it happens in? If you were riding a bike down a country lane, you possibly wouldn't be eating a box of Pringles as you go. So what is it about the situation that makes that a temptation? And can you dilute the scenario? Can you get rid of temptations? Can you put more barriers up? Can you distract yourself? What can you do to dilute the scenario? So I would love to know what are the temptations that you are struggling with at the moment? Because I'd love to hop on here and give some advice. So do give me a comment and let me know what is it that you struggle with? What are your temptations at the moment that you don't really want to be doing, but you somehow find yourself doing quite often? And then I'll hop on and I'll give you some advice. I hope that was helpful and I hope to see you very soon we have our next healthy whole and free course coming up in may so have a look out for that and our next reflection coffee and conversation is on the 12th of march so see you soon take care bye bye